We will just do a random random and see how it goes. All right. So we have Penumbra with Melting Remnant. And we start with a Molten Encasement. Um, Dregs are kind of bad. Mind Collapse is okay. We have Sap plus Daze, Talos, which is, I mean, with Molten Encasement, that's not a big deal. Uh, we have Rally Arcus, which is going to be pretty freaking annoying for Molten Encasement. Then we have Seraph's Diligence, which shouldn't matter too much here. Um, I mean, I'd like to go Monstrous with this setup because we can put the Molten Encasement in front. If we don't go Monstrous, I think Architect would be the second. I don't love Gorge builds with Molten Encasement because you then have this awkward push-pull between do I play my Morsels or do I you know, put my tomb in front. Extinguish abilities trigger a second time. We have two units that already have extinguish abilities. That's uh, by default without any upgrades, eight stealth potential between the two of them. Pretty good. And I think, yeah, we're not gonna take Glutton, so it's gonna be monstrous. The biggest issue is going to be having enough capacity to play the tombs in front of Penumbra. So we'll kind of have to see how that goes. This should be okay. We'll take a little bit of uh, pyre damage, but we should be fine in terms of, you know, protecting Penumbra. We can play middle floor and just play it like this, get some damage on the U so that Penumbra can hopefully, uh, we won't be able to kill you, but he'll get pretty close. And we take the nine damage. We kind of knew that was coming. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to play the three of you. If we mind collapse him, in fact, we can even mind collapse him for six. Uh, we kill everything because of the trample. We still have two turns of stealth. All of them are dying. That's very good news for us. We can play two train stewards just because we can. And a drag. And, um, I mean, this doesn't matter. Okay, we can get one morsel. That's a pretty good one. Let's see what else we get. It's a little bit better one if we don't get the uh, stealth. This gives us one more hit with both. This gives us some ember. Okay. We're guaranteed to get the stealth tomb. And with the stealth tomb, it's we're never going to get touched. Very simple. Okay, so ring one, nine damage for 75 coins is a perfectly adequate trade. Space Prism is going to help out a lot. Uh, Immortal Trade is also very good, but I think Immortal Trade is redundant when we have Molten Encasements. The goal is to get the Molten Encasements on Holdover. Um, oh, uh, we do want spells to deal with Seraph the Diligent, but none of these are particularly great. I guess Whiplash could be okay. If we can get it on Holdover, we could stack up enough Burnout that uh, Penumbra should be fine. I think, or some other unit that we end up getting. So now the question is, do we want a Melting Remnant unit? We do have this Feast, which has no purpose right now. We could go for double spells. I think we do want to get Endless, would be pretty good. Let's check out what upgrades we have first. We do have an Endless, so that's probably going on to a Tomb, but let's see what we get out of the banner. Um. We could go Wickless Tycoon. Uh, with Monstrous, you can greet a bit, and it's actually okay. And then we just want you to have extra HP. Um, and honestly, just generic stats. We don't really want him to become much of a force. <laughs> it's mostly just so that he can collect. And if he's collecting, we're happy. Uh... We didn't invest very much. We invested 50 coins in him. So if we get 10 kills, incidentally, throughout the run, we'll have made up our money. Um, let's go on. A Dripfall may have made sense to overstack. The only problem with the Dripfall is... Uh, 
you can't play the tombs unless they have burnout. We're gonna go something like this, I think. Let him tank the hit for now. He won't be able to. We won't get any um, harvest triggers yet. But then when these guys die, we'll get some triggers. We can play this here. Play you guys up top. Yeah, with one of these. Get rid of the garbage. We actually get 15 coins there, so that was already a good start. We have now this one on Endless. It's basically meaning we're never going to take damage. Play you up top, and this is already looking quite good. Would have loved to have killed something. We play another Train Steward. We are killing the Backliner. Um, kill this to get some coins. And we're going to take 5 damage for the trial. Not the end of the world. Uh, we are going to either die or kill him before the uh, <laughs> before the stealth goes away. We're going to have 9 stealth, so we were pretty good there. Cool. Alright. So ring 2, we get a draft unit for two dam or for 5 damage. Hmm. I'll take a Pact Morsels. There's the drip fall again. I just don't think it makes sense. I think we're gonna skip here. I don't want an entombed explosive. Now this is interesting. This is very interesting. We could potentially switch up the floors. We're gonna increase capacity. If we increase capacity, putting Big Sludge together behind the Wickless Baron and then just playing the tomb there might be the play. I actually really like that setup. And then we have uh, Monstrous Penumbra's cleanup duty. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right here. Uh, we're gonna go spells. There's almost zero chance we take this Umbra unit. Yeah, I don't think we need the collector. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with all the morsels. I like automated rail spikes actually with uh, diligent. That's four spells we can use that can consume, um, and it's good we got them first because now we can already add magic power to them. Although having a hold over mind collapse is pretty sick. A ten cost. Oh, and there's the free. We can get a free uh, a free wicklash. Ooh, what do we do here? I think you gotta get. I think you gotta go rail spikes while you have them. Just get. It's gonna be basically thirty damage rail spikes, and then we don't get hold over for it or yet. Thirty damage rail spikes is gonna be really big uh, in Seraph the Diligent for killing units for zero cost. Okay, so we absolutely want you here. We want to be able to kill things with you as well. Uh, you're going up top. You're going to take a hit. That's life. Sometimes life makes you take a hit. Um, I would like to play Big Sludge on the same floor as Wickless Tycoon. So I'm not going to play the Train Steward. We'll play... Honestly, both morsels here. Just to save damage. Or save uh, HP. Okay, big sludge coming in. Uh, we can play this one here for now. Play you guys in here to die. And then once we get extra capacity, we can start playing in, on the bottom. Okay, well. Uh, everything's dying here. Everything's dying here. I guess we can't complain about any of that. Let's get you guys behind. Do some damage. And yeah, capacity. We are in dire need of capacity. That will be the definite first upgrade. Fantastic, we can play you here now. Really good stuff. Um, play a drag here, just for kicks. And... Kill you. Fantastic. I don't know that we'll be able to kill on the bottom floor, but we'll get pretty dang close. Like, we're doing already quite a lot. And... We bop you. 
Although six is not enough damage. Oh, this is uh, so close. Well, we're not gonna dupe it yet. <laughs> but I guess we're not in a rush either. It's fine. We get the kill here. Fantastic. I think we've already earned the investment back from uh, the Wickless Baron, or Wickless Tycoon. Um, sacrificial Resurrection on Permafrost could mean that we can eliminate the uh, garbage, and we're not taking any of these units, and we're taking capacity. Plus, it's a way to generate more units to block if we need. Uh... Will we get unit upgrades here? We will. Or here? Eventually we will. I'm going to prioritize removal of units. First. Because I don't want train stewards or dregs. I would rather that uh, we can dupe... Ooh, mold braces. Yes. I, I would rather that we can either dupe or reform the molten encasements. Okay, we go Monstrous 2. Again, he's just there for cleanup, so uh, no real concern here. Invasion will mean we take some Pyre damage, but it's only 6. This doesn't really matter. Okay. So you're going bottom. You go top. 15... you do 80. Yeah, we should be good. He should kill the whole floor. And what we can do is play... I think we play both of you and then just get a... Oh, we can't play the draft. I forgot. He's unplayable because of the uh, Ember cost. Alright, so we play a drag here. That's for sure happening. We play you here. You here. Uh, I think we bop the uh, conduit. Yeah, you're wrecking everything. That's fantastic. It gets us our second one. I guess we could have also wicklashed this guy, but I don't know if that was necessary. Okay, so we get double mind collapse here. Um, I don't know why I keep putting them in front. That seems like a bad decision. Uh, we can put a shade splitter here to eat this hit and then you have to die and I think you die as well and that prevents a lot of damage onto Penumbra not that I'm too concerned I think we're gonna have more than enough space or you or yeah we're gonna have more than enough down here this is a little scary not even a little scary it's a lot of scary it's a lot of scary um, we're gonna take some fire damage. Bigger concern is are he, is he dying? He's not dying though. But we're gonna be down 36. Puts him at seven or 69. So we're gonna take three hits. We're gonna take 19 damage here. Well, that's life, I guess. But I'm almost positive we're killing on the bottom floor, especially when we can play the second automated rail spikes. We can yeet the backliner there for a duplicate. It's very, very, very solid right now. It's the biggest part is early damage. We struggle a little bit with early damage. I'm not gonna take void binding. I think void binding is too scary. It's too scary. We don't have any way to generate ember right now apart from mine collapses, and I don't think that's a very wise way to go about it. Um, Sacred Wicks could be a way to bring back the other stealth tomb. And it's a consume card. We need cards that we're okay to just yeet out as a consume. We continue on our path of removing uh, train stewards and dregs. Double stack. Uh, we could double stack Wicklash. 
problem is we just have, just have we just have too many cards right now. Let's start with this. Minus cost on Wicklash. I don't think we double stack it. I think we'd rather go for holdover. And then I'm okay taking it because with the uh, holdover, we can um, use it as a method of growing Penumbra. So that his uh, his trample kills off and clears all the units. We could also play it on a lower floor unit, but I think it's just better on Penumbra. He's the cleanup. The others are there for the bosses. Although this boss in particular, we might end up going to Penumbra. We'll see. Uh, Spike should be fine. We have a lot of HP. We're going to have stealth. Um, I mean, he's gaining health because of the armor. Oh yeah, because they're... Oh yeah, Mold Braces gets doubled. That's hilarious. Uh, also, why are you here again? Because I'm a fool? Alright, well at least I know it. <laughs> Alright, get you in there. Play you in... Uh, now you can't fit. I guess we'll play you up here. And... I mean, it's fine. Like, we'll... We'll be fine here. But we will take a little... Oh, wow. Maybe we're not fine. You're not stealthed. <laughs> Whoops. Let's block with uh, one of these. And then let's do another one here. For No. Actually, we didn't want to do that. Okay. Well, it's fine. We just do... Bop. Into Bop. And suddenly we're fine. Okay. Are we going to do, do? Are we going to do enough damage to these guys, though? Uh, currently not. We could yeet the front unit, which would do a little bit more damage. Play you up front. That's going to happen. Uh, this still kills you. We're doing sixty-eight damage now, so we're going to take twenty damage, I think. All right, then we can uh, do this and kill you. Cool. Okay. Um, stealth is going to be great for the boss. And by the way, do it twice. Uh, yeah, I think we should be killing here too. We just can't play these other uh, morsels. But this should... One, da, 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 da. How are they dying is the question. If I yeet them with rail spikes, does that make a difference? By the way, how many rail spikes do we have? We have four exactly. I don't really want to use them because it's going to add too many rail spikes. Um, obviously, I don't want to give you burnout. I could give this guy burnout. Doesn't change anything. Does he die to spikes? How does he die to spikes? For killing these two? He only hits one of them though. Da, 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 hit, hit. How is he dying to spikes? Oh, it's because he loses he loses stealth earlier. So he gets hit earlier. I don't think he's dying to spikes. I think he's dying just because of that. I mean, it's fine. We're going to be able to put stealth onto the Penumbra anyway. Um, block a hit? No, it doesn't actually make a difference. We'll just get some Ember for next turn and hit the boss twice. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just got hit first. That was the that was the problem. But okay, that's fine. I mean, we just uh, we play it like this. We only have to hit him if we do this. We only have to hit him twice. Put you out here. Uh, put you here too, and then hit you. Yep, and dead. Easy. 
Okay, we're good. Everything is fine. Um, yeah, we'll take the boon of the blacksmith. We have a little bit of problems with, uh... Oh, Remnant Host is so good. Remnant Host. It's such a good uh, blocker, and it's really, really, really good for uh, Harvest. Fantastic. So now all of them consume, and they have plus 10 damage. So they're going to have 30 damage base. And I think we're still going to go Spell and Removal. And then we'll probably finish the runoff with two uh, unit upgrades in a row. We want to dupe at the end something. I think it's going to be a stealth tomb, but we'll see. With double extinguish triggers, we're going to get four units that immediately all burn out and just make our big sludge get nutty. But uh, these drags are not good, so we're going to eat them. Um, continue to reduce the cost of Shade Splitters. We want Permafrost on Sacrificial Resurrection. And... There's the double stack again. I think we just keep reducing the cost of stuff. The nice thing is, is that everything if everything is free, um, I could actually take an Ember Drain card. Like, I could take a Furnace Tap, for example, and it wouldn't be scary. The only thing that's not free is units. I guess that's a problem. The Molten Encasement wouldn't be free. Yeah. But everything else would be free. Okay, so we're going to just play units here. We can block with a drag, which is pretty sick. Uh, play you here. For basically no reason, but because we can. And that's reason enough for me. Um, let's increase the space. Put in... Both? Or just one? Oh, whoops. We made Sacrificial Resurrection more expensive. Okay, we'll get this draft. We'll save it for later. Okay, Remnant Host goes on the bottom. You go on the top. Guten Abend, Jedi boy. I also didn't realize this was going to cause... Uh, the rally trigger because I don't read text of things. Um, just hit him for nine. Yeah, this is great. Mm. Yummy, 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 yummy. All right. Uh, I think we start scaling up. Is it the tycoon? So we do this, and we do this, that's a whole freaking lot of damage. Hey, I'm glad. I'm glad that uh, it's been going well. Good to hear that it's working for you. I sound like I'm talking about an exercise program. It's good to hear that the videos <laughs> are helping. Uh, continue to scale you. Is P90X working for you? Um, we still have plenty of stealth there. We can keep keep it going here. Oh no, this dazes, so we play it up here. We gotta bop you so that you can die to Penumbra. And I mean, he's gonna run out of uh, he's gonna run out of burnout before he runs out of stealth, or he's going to get burned out before he runs out of stealth. Is probably a better way to say that. Uh, we can bring back a couple units. Oh, dang. That would have been sick to play down here, but that's fine. Um, get. Hold on. If I block you, you can get real thick. Mmm, yeah. Love that. <laughs> and, uh, let's just... Hit you for 50. 
I'm not very worried about Relentless. I mean, we're going to have so much freaking stealth that uh, Big Sludge is never going to get hit. He's got a ton of damage already. Um, yeah, I get popped. Alright, let's see if Wickless Baron is surviving. Not yet. Uh, what if we put a draft in front? At least we get one more uh, uh, harvest trigger. Close though, we were, we were close. Yeah, that tome was getting pretty thick. Intent on death. <laughs> um, wow. Gaming Grump, thank you for the kind words. And I'm glad that uh, it's been working well for you. The uh, combos can get pretty tough. Um, just start as Stygian, okay. Yeah, Stygian can be a little bit weird until you get used to how Incant works, but I think Incant is still one of the most broken mechanics right now. And most mechanics are not broken. Like, Harvest isn't broken because it requires other units. Like, I feel like Incant is so reliable and consistent, it's hard to lose. I mean, you can still can, but it's it's hard to lose if you get the at least one good Incant unit, like a Siren or something. I mean, obviously the Siren's going to be one of the best ones, but... Um, one of the sirens. Let me think here. I do like Intent on Death, but I actually don't know if it's very good. The main reason I don't know if it's very good is because it's not great on Remnant Host. And it's not really. we don't really want to have a stealth that lasts forever. So I think we don't take it. Weird, right? Like, you always take Intent on Death, but here... I don't think it makes sense. We're definitely going to go draw. It's pretty important. especially important for... Um, Seraph the Diligent. Now we get unit upgrades for the first time in our lives. Uh, I mean, it's fossilized fangs, but we don't really gorge that much. Um, well, I don't love any of this, unless we make a thick drag, but I think thick drag is not really uh, what we're going for here. We can make endless on the end remnant host, that's pretty good. Give you. I'm going to give him health for now. And then uh, we hope that the second one gives him multi-strike. Okay, we can purge. We'll purge a dreg. And let's get a rare Umbra. I mean, sure. We don't have any Ember, like... Let me say this. We don't, we don't save Ember for any particular, specific cards. So dumping it into something like a uh, Forever Consumed is totally fine. Also getting minus two on it's very, very good. Um, we're going to go Monstrous. Now we're going to switch things up. Um, we're going to probably put the uh, extra capacity from the Space Prism on the floor with Penumbra. We're just going to play the Remnant Host on the bottom to get them stacked, and then we'll play the remnant, or then we'll play the uh, molten encasement just before relentless, and we'll put molten encasement stacking onto penumbra floor. Uh, spikes is very scary, and the question is, we already have 365. Do we really want to risk it? Um, we did add a bunch of health onto big sludge. They are only hitting once. They probably never get hit because Remnant Host just kills everything. The question is, are we going to be able to do enough damage to kill... This is a very, very, very good question. I mean, Penumbra is rather thick. He's doing 170. I'm going to go for it, but this seems very risky. This might be the... This won't be the death of the run, but... It just does seem... It does seem very risky. One nice thing we have going for us is that we can soften them up quite a lot with uh, Rail Spikes. Okay, so we're killing this. Put Remnant Host out front. Um, 
We can bop him in the end to get uh, extra stats. The question is, I don't think we play this remnant host here. I think we just wait. Or multi distinguish, sorry. Uh, yeah, we just bop you. Cool. We get one Ember Drain, but again, we're not really relying on Ember that much. I uh, still would like to play you out. You're going to block all the hits, give us tons of armor. With Rail Spikes, we can um, hit the backliner too. This is 30 damage. This would be another 20 damage. I kind of feel like that's worth it. And then we just don't play the Molten Encasement yet. Cool. He is getting uh, very, 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 very strong. Penumbra has not been touched yet. Which just makes me wonder, like, if we should increase capacity there. How are we doing here? It's not actually doing enough. If we do this, though... If we Wicklash... Let's increase capacity here. Um, we can play this for fun. Give you lifesteal, I guess. Play these guys down bottom. I guess that's fair. We could have done that. But I, I, I just don't think it... I don't think it's all that good in the end. And we're gonna bop you twice. And now we're killing everything. That's fantastic. By the way, we're getting so much freaking gold. Or coins, I should say. Uh, do that. Play you up front. He's getting very thick. The problem is, is that... Well, I guess we'll get enough damage. We'll get so much burst damage out of Big Sludge. I think we'll be good here. Um, it would have been a, it would have been a lot of Harvest Triggers, but then the Remnant Host itself doesn't die. Is the problem. And I want it to die. It's one extra Harvest Trigger if it dies. And the rest are going to die naturally due to burnout. Whereas if we play the um, if we play the intent on death, it fills up, but then the remnant host itself doesn't die. Unless we give it damage and it has spikes, but that's only for this specific, you know, specific floor. So uh, we can bring back whatever is dead. I think it's morsels. Let me think how we want to do this. I think we want to kill one of the back line. I don't know if that actually puts enough damage. I, I don't think we can get this guy low enough to actually just outright kill him. But I'm also wondering... No, I think we don't use uh, Sacrifice of Resurrection here. Just play a bunch of stuff. Um, You don't die, though. We'll put you up here. Play you up here. Play you down there. And... I mean, you're going to kill both of them. I feel like we just need to get more damage onto you. Because I'm very nervous about this Pyre Wing. The Pyre Wing has to die. That's pretty mandatory. We still have three more turns where we can add Burnout onto you. This is all very good. Let's see what other Shade Splitters we get. I like this. And then I like uh, Sacrek on all the rest. To play you down here to die. Okay. Solid. So now um, only the this one survived. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna completely wreck this guy. Uh, the question is stealth or remnant host, and I think it's still remnant host. He's gonna get enough armor from it that it's worth it. We'll play you here to give us stealth. Start that rolling, and that's it. Okay. And I'm pretty sure we just kill here. Yeah, we do. Cool. Easy. Yeah, we're gonna go in with well over a thousand. One thousand one hundred ten. Holy cow. Yeah, well, we can make it a, cha a challenge after. 
Um, Ember Cash is great as a method of getting rid of cards. And we don't, I don't really, Memento Mori is kind of interesting. Because we had a lot of units dying. That's five deaths every time we play Remnant Host. That's 50 damage per Memento Mori. We get it down to one cost. 50 damage extra every... I just don't think it's good. No, no, no. We don't do it. I think we're good. We have all the tools we need. We just want Multi-Strike on the um, Big Sludge. Burnout onto this Tome is good. Burnout onto this Tome is bad. You don't want Burnout on your Molten Encasement, or sorry, your uh, Remnant Host, because uh, when it gets hit, or sorry, if it doesn't die from getting hit, then it will create the, dra the drafts at the end of the turn and they won't die immediately. Um, let's re-roll. Okay, there's Multi-Strike, fantastic. We actually uh, got what we wanted there. And then, what do we dupe? I think it's Space Prism. Um, maybe this is something. I guess Light's Gift is pretty good. It just prevents damage on Penumbra. And that's it. And we don't even really need to get rid of anything. I guess we could get rid of the two drags and the feast. At the same time, we can just play feast for zero and have it be a consume one turn. I think we're good. I think we got the uh, the deck here. Okay, so you're going up top. Play this. Uh, we're going to play probably Shade Splitter here. Get a Wickless Tycoon here. Kill you to prevent garbage and play you to block the hit. Give us some armor. Okay, so we need a little bit more damage if we're gonna kill this guy. But we're almost there. Um, this is a decent sacrificial resurrection as well. Play you up front here. I really would like to kill this purifier. Ah, uh, man. Purifier or Gilded Wing? We have th we have so many more. We gotta we gotta prevent garbage, and then we just uh, yeet the vengeful shard and exchange it for a draft. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. We're gonna keep growing down here. Play you, and play you. Although, then you don't die. Oh, you die from burnout. You die from burnout. We're good. Okay, we're gonna take some fire damage. Not much, but a little bit. We also got a garbage. Uh, but he can st start killing everything else, which is really good. Now we can play... Um, we can play both, and the nice thing is, is that because it has burnout, it doesn't affect the remnant host death. Which is quite good. What do I play with Little Fade? Um, Firelight. And then if you don't get Firelight because you're unlucky, you play uh, Little Icarus. And then if you're a sad person, you play Endless. No, if you, you can play Endless, but if you play Endless, um, it's not mandatory, but it's well advised to take uh, Intent on Death. It makes the whole scaling process much, much, much smoother. Okay, so play you. Play you. I'm not gonna play, I'm gonna play Wicklash on, um, probably on Penumbra here. Is that right? Do we even play it on Penumbra? We would get seven turns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, he's not gonna live that long anyway. Even if we stealth them up, like, we should be getting the kill down here. We have nine. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting the kill down here. Uh, even with Flicker's Liquor, because uh, Icarus, the issue is like it's it's not just um, it's not just 
the Ember cost, it's the fact that you have to play him every turn, or play her every turn. So, which means that um, if you're playing her on the top floor, she's always going to get dazed, and you're negating a draw. So it's like it's it's it really isn't just flickers liquor, fixes it. I think it still is a problem that you have to get her scaled enough that she's actually killing something, and there you can get a lot of leaks. Like even when I've had perfect decks with her, I've still had problems because she keeps coming out at the wrong time, and I can't get enough damage, and I die to leaked units. So it's 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 the ember, it's the opportunity cost, it's the it's all that. It's really really difficult, I think, to manage. But you're, I mean, you're totally right. It certainly is a lot easier if you don't have to worry about the uh, ember cost. But I don't think that that's an automatic fix. I think there's still all the other fundamental problems that make it difficult. So we have to go like this. We go Molten Encasement, Remnant Host. We bop somebody. Somebody's gonna get the bop. You're gonna get the bop. Then we do this. Everything's dying, that's very good news. We can play this so that we can get rid of the mutilation. Correct, at least as of, uh, as of the uh, open beta, does this seem really loud to you? Does the sound seem really loud? I might turn it down a bit. Maybe it's just my volume. Um, as of the open beta, it switches to Ember Drain, but I don't know if they stuck with that or went with something else in the end. Um, I don't think there's a way for us to kill this guy. That might be enough. 30 damage might be enough. Let's see. Okay, we're going to play Feast because it's garbage. It actually was enough. Okay. Sick. I'm going to I'm going to turn down the sound a bit. That should be much more reasonable. Okay. Uh play you guys. And yeah, we, I mean, we have 18 turns of stealth and we have 378 by two. Like we're not even close. Um, get blasted. Not to mention we would still have a uh, seven turn Penumbra who could get stealthed for some of those turns and, or for all those turns. And that would be another, you know, 1,400 damage. Yeah, I don't know what was up with the sound. It seemed like unbearably loud for no reason. Cool. Very smooth run. I'll make a challenge code out of it. I like this run a lot.